The crowd is amped up, ready to get this season underway, as are we. Back with more in a minute. From inside Lone Depot Park in Miami, Florida, opening day 2022 on MLB The Show. The Atlanta Braves taking on the Miami Marlins. Just about ready to go. And on the hill in this one, Sandy Alcantara. Singy, he's a guy that can rack up a lot of strikeouts. Oh, a very solid ERA last season, just a little over three. And when you've got a guy like that uh, taking the mound for you, the offense is definitely expected to score four runs at least, unless they're really struggling. So you know, more times than not, when he's on the ball, you're going to win the ball game if you just do your part as an offense. So last year, great year. He wants to repeat that or even improve. And I think there is some room for improvement. He's got good stuff. It's just executing from hitter to hitter. All right, let's take a look at the lineup. Chris, this is a lineup offensively that could be really good for years to come. Well, there's a lot of young talent in this lineup. I think as they gel together, gain some maturity over the course of this season, they could be playing October baseball. Ozzie Albies up to the plate. Pitch misses inside, and that's ball one. No score, just getting started, top of the first. And now it's even up. Nice warm day here, good baseball weather. Does that change anything, Chris, especially for the hitters? Absolutely. You feel so much more comfortable at the plate. You're not worried about you know, getting jammed on fastballs inside part of the plate. Uh, you can kind of be more selective instead of just looking out away so that you can get the barrel to it in that part and get on the inside part of the plate as well. One down, base is empty. Pitch misses, and the count's even at two. And a foul ball. The 2-2. Two -two. Stays alive. Now well, he's desperately looking for that swing and miss. He's going to have to just change speeds a little bit, try to move it around, create just a little bit of illusion at the end. Next offering is foul back. Ninth pitch of the at-bat due next. On the ground. In plenty of time to first. Nice, efficient start to the afternoon. That's two out. Batting third, the center fielder, Michael Harris. Now in for the Braves, Michael Harris. Looking for his first big league hit right here. First offering, and it just misses. That one ripped left field. That's back there. And it is gone. His first homer in the majors, and they're going to have to send somebody to get that ball for him. Always such a special moment. You know this is one of the biggest thrills of his life. He's got to be floating around the bases right now. Yeah, he'll remember every detail of that at bat for years, as he should. It's a true once-in-a-lifetime event. Now, Boog, there's so many times when a young player might wonder if he's ever even going to get to the big leagues and do something like this. Well, he doesn't have to wonder anymore. Here's Austin Riley. Batting four. The third baseman, Austin 
Riley. Well, with the shift on, hits right into it. Whips it to first. That's the third out. Braves get one on the big fly. It's now a one-nothing ball game. Bottom of the first, and pitching here today, Spencer Strider. It's a tough veteran lineup on the other side, but I'm excited to see what this rookie can do in this one. Bottom of the first, and at the plate for Miami, Joey Wendell. And the pitch. That's in there. He swings and drives one out to deep left field. That's back there. That's down. One hops off the wall. Cut off. Throw to third. In there safely. Man, I love the hustle out of the box right there to make that triple happen. And just an absolute laser into the opposite field gap. He was digging hard the entire way. And now it's Garrett Cooper up to him. Batting second, the first baseman, Garrett. Cooper. That one's in there, 0 and 1. Strider, one of the best strikeout pitchers in the game, and that certainly is a benefit to him when he's in a spot like this. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Clearly trying to stay back a little bit longer for that changeup as he fouls that fastball back. Stays alive. Wendell, the lone runner, stands at third with nobody out. Also really good at bat. What I like about this guy, his bat stays in the zone for a long time. Gives him the ability to foul off tough pitches. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And that's the first out. And that's the first strikeout of his major league career. And it could be the first of many if he meets the goals he set for himself and the expectations others have for him. He doesn't want to just win games. He wants to dominate at this level. Do you think young pitchers can sometimes get too caught up in trying to rack up pays early in their career? Boog, I think they can. It's kind of like a hitter that doesn't have power. The thrill is still hitting a ball over the fence. And so for a guy, even if he doesn't have power stuff or strikeout stuff, a strikeout is still something that makes him stick his chest out a little bit further. Next offering misses, 2 and 0. Oh. Yeah, if you're going to be in the game in high leverage situations, you've got to be able to get the swing and miss and put hitters away. That one misses, and it's 3 and 0. Oh. The pitch. Downstairs, and it misses, ball four. I don't think he really wanted to pitch to him right there anyhow. Jorge Soler up at the plate. Jorge. First offering misses the mark. And yeah, there's a ball. Tough spot right here. A couple runners on. Two ball count. You can't nibble, but you have to execute and finish your pitch. If you leave something out over the plate, it's going to bring in some runs. Kicks and fires. And there's the strike. Well, triple digits on the gun. I know there are more guys that can reach that now than in the past, but it's still impressive to watch. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. And there's two away. Well, this is where the team aspect really comes into play on the offensive Not side of the good. game, right? I mean, missed opportunity to tie it up with the runner at third, one out, put the ball in play. So now it's time to pick him up. And that's where good teams, they go to. They operate on this level of next man up. That mentality is what causes them to win series, get into the postseason. That helps keep the energy and morale high in the dugout. Now here is Brian De La Cruz. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. Corners are occupied, but two down. 
Bounce to third. Riley fires the first. That ends the frame. Second inning coming up here in South Florida. It's the Braves one and the Marlins nothing. Back here at the ballpark. New inning getting started. And here's the first baseman, Matt Olson. The first baseman, Matt Olson. Here comes a pitch. Up the middle. Not in time. He's safe. Oh, that's a really tough play no matter who you are, but I think he has a chance to get him at first if he's just able to get that throw off a little quicker. It looked like he took one extra step to set himself and get a grip on the ball. Here's Orlando Arcia. Rolled softly, but that goes foul. On the ground a second, might be two. Tags the runner. And that's two. Two outs, space is empty. And now it's William Contreras. And first offering is fouled off. And that one is lifted in the air. Chisholm makes the catch, and that'll do it. Bottom of the inning, and here is Jesus Sanchez. Strider back to work. The designated hitter. That one missed. He needs a quick one, two, three this time around. Last inning, through a lot of pitches. Next pitch is outside. James Kingsley, our plate umpire, consistent as you mentioned, and maybe a little generous on the edges. The 2 1. And fouled off. He's mixing his pitches really well late on that fastball after seeing the changeup. See if he can elevate one. I think if he does, he'll get the swing and miss. Swing and a ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. Just kept it simple. Played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from. And there's just no one there to knock it down. And now, Charles LeBlanc. On the ground to the left. That's a base hit. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. This is J.J. Blade. The right fielder. J.J. In there and it's 0-1. At the belt and fires. There's a strike. I understand you want to try to gauge that guy's fastball, but you also have to be aggressive and ready to hit in your zone. Now you're in a tough spot. And down on strikes he goes. One out. Typically that high fastball, if it's close to the top of the strike zone, a hitter he's prepared for it can get to it. But that one just had that little jump at the end, which indicates there's a good spin rate on it, and it didn't decrease in velocity as that hitter's internal clock would expect it to, and that's why you see the swing and miss. Nick Fortes in the box now takes a cold strike. Next offering is in for a strike. He's looking for a ground ball to get a double play and out of this jam. Next pitch just misses. It's a ball and two strikes. Kicks and deals. Bounce to the left side. Into the outfield base hit. Sanchez around third. The throw is offline. He's safe. It's 1-1. Here's Joey Wendell. 
ground out. The third baseman. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing at all. Two on, one out. There's the strike. Tied up here in the early going. Next pitch misses inside, and the count is one and two. Fly drive, and there's a hit. And they stop him at third, so base is loaded with one away. That's back-to-back no, -back singles first, for him. First. Nice line drive to the full side, met it out front, Ooh, but just girl. stayed through it nice enough and ripped it into the outfield. So base is loaded with one away. Garrett Cooper, the next up for the Marlins. In there for strike one. Righty delivers. Line drive, caught! Yeah, that was a wasted RBI opportunity, but a competitor like now him, he is looking forward to make it up for it in his next at bat. Jazz Chisholm now. Line drive, base hit! One runs in. Another comes in to score. The relay to the plate. The tag, out. That ends the inning, but two runs do score. We play two full. It's the Marlins three and the Braves one. Back here in Miami, top half of the third inning, Dansby Swanson stands in. The shortstop. Alcantara back to work. Ground ball, left side. One up, one down. Here's Marcelo Zuna. The left fielder, number 20. Marcel Ozuna. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Boog, he never moved because he never had time to. With that kind of velocity, you'd prefer that pitcher work away. Next offering is fouled back. Here's a one two ripped on a line and that's a base hit so a man aboard now with one away man those are the types of hits where you don't feel any vibration in your hands whatsoever such a good feeling that's about as textbook as it gets got his stride and load out of the way early he stayed inside that ball and squared it up out front man that was like he was in the cage hitting off a tee so the lineup flips over, and here is Ronald Acuna Jr. This guy has turned into a beast. Ozuna stands at first with one out. That one misses, and it's one and one. Ronald Acuna Jr., a guy who burst on the scene in 2018. He was only 20 years old, and he is one of the great. Hit high in the air. There it goes. See ya. His first homer of the year, and they add a couple more. It's 3-3. He absolutely crushed that one. No doubt about that one, Boog. We knew it wasn't coming back. That's the exact definition of hitting the ball where it's pitched, taking that outside fastball and driving it the opposite way out of the ballpark. You want to bottle that type of approach. Here is Ozzy Albies up to hit. 0 for 1 so far. The batter, number one, designated hitter, Ozzy Albies. That one is absolutely belted back there. And it's gone. Ozzy Albies goes yard. His first homer of the year, and the Braves have the lead now. It's 4 3.
Back to back jacks, and this club is fired up right now, Boog. I mean, this is the kind of thing where you really start to notice hitters in a lineup feeding off each other, and the collective confidence just continues to grow. Yeah. And the batter now, Michael Harris. And that one hammered way back. Turning, looking, and that one is gone. A towering shot to center. His second of the year. It's 5 3. Back to back to back home runs, and these guys look so dominant right now. Pitcher might want to check and see if he's tipping his pitches or not, but I tell you what, if this was basketball, that opposing team would call a timeout to try to slow down this offense. Now back. Here's the third baseman, the third baseman. Austin Riley. Austin. 0 for 1, he grounded Riley. out in his first at bat. That one's in there, 0 and 1. The 0 1. And that one fouled off. And the righty deals. Hammered down the right side, but foul. Not close with that one, but he gets him to go after it. The throw to first, and now two gone. Now batter, the first baseman. Two outs, base Matt. is empty. Matt Olson up to the plate. Reached on an infield single his first time. And he grounds one back up the middle. On to first, and Olson is set down. Ends the inning after they racked up a bunch of runs. We head now to the home half of inning number three. It's the Braves five and the Marlins three. 